Last week I shared a new story with the members of this YouTube channel talking about the new technology that Google is working on in an attempt to replace how they use third-party cookies so that they can still offer some type of benefit to the advertisers who are trying to target users. This new technology is currently known as Flock, F-L-O-C, also known as the Federated Learning of Cohorts. And with the pu recent push of privacy and, again, getting rid of third-party cookies, and in this video, I want to show you how to manually opt out of the early Google Chrome beta test of FLOC or the Federated Learning of Cohorts. So a quick rundown of how this works. As of right now, Google collects a lot of information on your specific account. They watch the websites you visit, the things you search, sometimes the things you type about or write about, and they use that to offer a way for advertisers to target you. For instance, if I'm searching up BMW cars a bunch, then there may be some companies out there who want to advertise their products to other people who are interested in those products. So that's a lot of very, very targeted, specific information that Google is collecting on individual accounts. And that's what's changing, or at least what Google is trying to change to with the federated learning of cohorts. With the new system, instead of collecting information about what your account is doing, they are monitoring what your account is doing. And again, say I'm searching for BMWs a bunch, they would toss my account into a automobile cohort. Now we're not sure exactly how specific and how detailed uh, these cohorts will be. I've seen a couple of um, suggestions being very broad, maybe only having about eight or 10, but this could change at any time. Google is currently doing or planning on doing a beta test. So we're gonna have to wait and see how their results are before we know how this actually gets implemented in the future. So while it does allow for some of the same type of targeted ads, in the way that Google is collecting data, it's less targeted to specific accounts and instead allowing advertisers to target an entire category so now let's get into how we can manually opt out of this whole beta test that Google is planning. To start, we're just going to need to open up your Chrome web browser. And then you're gonna to need to go into the settings area. Then you're just gonna to wanna to scroll all the way down to the advanced section, tap on the site settings option and toward the top, you should see a cookies permission. By default, this is likely the option that's going to be set to block third-party cookies only while in incognito mode. But right now, you can opt out of the Federated Learning of Cohorts beta test by simply blocking all third-party cookies. Now this is a very broad change and Google has said after the beta test they are going to offer a simple toggle to allow Chrome users to opt out of this feature. But if you want to make sure that your device is not included in this early beta test, we can simply block third party cookies in the web browser to make sure that we are opted out. And that wraps up today's video on how to opt out of the upcoming Google Chrome Federated Learning of Cohorts beta test.
This can be done on the desktop version of Chrome as well. You're just going to want to go into the settings of Chrome again, except this time you're going to look in the privacy and security section so that you can then tap the cookies and other site data option. That's where you'll be able to block third-party cookies.